www.livestream.com slash Angela Lucretia Morning Show. And you can find us there with 24 hours back-to-back -back live morning show. If you just need to see us all day, you can just tune in. We're there all day giving you the scoop on what's going on. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're so happy to be here on today. Yeah. There is so much going on. Yes, and but we are lucky and we're happy and we're blessed to be here on today. Yes. I just want to tell you, um, if you're looking for an excellent restaurant, because I try out all the restaurants on the weekend. <laughs> if you're looking for an excellent restaurant, please check out Joe's Crab Shack in the state of Florida is on University Drive and 44th Street and they have the best music they have the best have food and I accidentally got a strawberry mango daiquiri it was the best daiquiri you can ever have but let me just tell you it was virgin for all of y'all want to know I am a Christian so it was virgin but it was excellent and the lobster that they put in the roasting pan. I had Ooh, two lobsters, crab, shrimp, <laughs> scallop, sausage, potatoes, oh, and man. corn, and one pot. And it was the Ooh. best food. And on top of that, we did the merengue, and we did the cha-cha-cha, oh. slide to the left. So we had an excellent time. So if you're looking for an excellent restaurant, and you want to go and, and, and have an excellent time, the atmosphere is great, and you can go and take your honey, or you just take your girls out and have a great time. Oh, that sounds excellent. You know, I went there, ooh, maybe about a couple of years ago, and it was such a fun and upbeat environment. Yes. And it's great to take your family. It's great to take kids. I mean, because they really interact, and it's a lot of fun, and the food is definitely good. Yes, it is. So I had a great time. So what about you? How is your weekend? Oh, home? my gosh. My weekend has been good, very busy. You know, we're moving soon. Yes. We finally got a movie residing in Coral Springs. I'm so excited about the new area. Yes. Uh, Jeffrey's excited because he'll be attending the high school of his dreams. So, yeah, we're getting prepared to do that. Lots of boxes and things around the house. Yes. And, you know, just trying to do that and, and keep, you know, my weight down. Well, and, you look you great. Know, you look thank fabulous. You. Thank you. Fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. That's all that lifting weights and everything. Um, yeah, and just busy running back and forth, you know, with work and with being a mom and a wife and things like that, and ministry, of course. Yes. But yeah, and speaking of that, let's go into the weather really quick before we get into everything else. You know, I'm the weather girl. Yes, uh, yes. It's raining, man. Yes. <laughs> so, let's look at the weather. In sunny South Florida, today is Saturday. We're at the high in the 70s, low 47. Yes. Partly showers through the day. So, of course, you know, it won't be that bad like thunderstorms and things like that, but just a little drizzle here and there. And then tomorrow is Sunday. We'll have 66 degrees low, um, high and 46 degrees low. So you might want to take you a little blazer, a nice cute sweater dress such as the host Miss Maxwell has on today. You know, wear some boots, you know, something to cover you up a little bit. A nice little shawl to do. But I love this weather. I love it. it I, I absolutely so, love it. You know, um, we we really, you know, commend you up there, up north, through the snow, snow and oh things my like God. that. Hang in there. Yes. Hopefully the season will be over because I know it is tough. I do remember yes. those days. But down here in sunny South Florida, we are actually enjoying this weather. Now, I hear different reviews. Some people are saying, you know, I'm getting old. The, uh, you know, I'm tired of this. This is getting enough already. But, yes. you know, I'm enjoying it while it lasts because, again, you get to snuggle yes, up. Yes, you, you do. Know, and wear your clothes that you don't normally wear, yes. you know? So and the groundhog predicted that we would have six more weeks. <laughs> he predicted that we had a six more yeah, weeks. Yeah, he saw I know he yeah. don't listen to that stuff, but hmm. it has proven to be true because yes. the winter has not slowed up. Yeah. I mean, they are up under the snow, and unfortunately, yet again, an earthquake has hit 
and it hit Chile at an 8.8 on the Richter scale and confirmed dead now 123 people. Mm. The bridges have collapsed, the homes have collapsed, the buildings have collapsed. Uh, one of the major intersections in that area, um, the, the bridge has totally fallen down and all the car, the bridges on top of the cars. So we're really praying for that area yes. once again. We have yes. to come together yes. because here's another catastrophic um, tragedy that has hit Chile. And so we are sending our prayers, and it's just so much going on. I've mm -hmm. told people that we're going to see a lot of earthquakes shaking the earth. Mm -hmm. And I was leaving the hospital, and the lady goes, well, you know the world is coming to an end, and rightly so. So we mm -hmm. have to make sure that we're ready to and be prepared to leave this mm -hmm. place. And, you know, the, the thing about it is that this is only the beginning. Yes. I mean, the beginning, the beginning. Yes. So, you know, just, again, store up, you know, make sure you have equipment around the house such as generators, yes. canned goods, non-perishable items, you know, water stacked yes. away, you know, funds stacked away, cash that you can leave around, you know, only where you and your spouse know where it is, yes. or just you that you can get to, because I'm telling you, things are going to be different yes. um, further to come, so just make sure you're prepared. Yes. And with those generators, if you have those generators, run them on the outside of the house. Yes. Do not run those Please generators don't on do the that. inside of the house. Please don't that do is, that. That is a tragedy waiting to oh. happen. Um, recently here we had a family that was running the generator. Oh. And um, I think two or three of the children didn't wake up. But I don't, I'm not sure if anyone died. Mm -hmm. But um, it was a tragic event. So please, if you have to run those generators, run them on the outside mm -hmm. of the house. Mm -hmm. And speaking of, since we're into that as far as, you know, weather patterns with the earth, you know, a lot of brush fires are starting. Yes. And we have to be very careful and very mindful of that. You know, they get them in California, and they, we also get them here in Florida. Yes. And um, we just, near where I'm living at right now currently, we had a brush fire yesterday. And, oh my gosh, fire can really do some damage. Yes. And it was a beautiful preserve, and by the time the fire got through this preserve, it just looked so desolate mm -hmm. and just so there was no life wow. and the wildlife that was living and residing in the preserve now they're gone and wow. have spread it abroad so now you know we've been uh, hearing you know of course police through it you know yeah. neighborhood been sending out warnings you know be careful when you come home at night you might find wow. a bobcat or yeah. you might find you know some snakes and things like that that's because the wildlife is looking for somewhere else to go so again if you live in a state where there are brush fires you know just be mindful and be careful and when they tell you to evacuate please evacuate yes, yes. as you soon as you listen can and follow yes. instructions don't try to be a superhero yes yes yeah well, we once again want to thank you for tuning in, and we promise that today's show is going to be a great show. Absolutely. We're, we're, we're actually looking forward to it. Yeah. There's so many things going on. Um, also, Andrew Conan, um, I'm one of, a child star on Growing Pains. Um, on this, earlier this week, on a sad note, um, his family was looking for him because he had been experiencing some depression. And um, he didn't want to live anymore. Unfortunately, they did find his body on yesterday oh, in the wooded area where he would normally go when he was a child. He was 41 years old, and they did find him. So um, our prayers are with that family. Yeah. Just to let you know, if you're at that point where you feel that you cannot make it another day, find a friend, find a helpline. Um, you can dial 211 or... 911 and and get someone if you have to find a priest to talk to or a minister just find someone that you can speak to instead of taking your life because your life is so valuable and so our sympathy and our prayers do go out to that family yes and also on that note if you are a friend of someone or if you are a relative of someone and you hear them talking about committing suicide we beg you to take it seriously because yes. it is a serious matter. They yes. may joke or smile. Don't you joke or smile. You pull them to the yes. side. You watch them. You monitor yes. them. Give them the necessary yes. numbers and counsel them. Yes. Take it very seriously. Now, when we come back after these messages, we'll be discussing hot topics such as marriage and singlehood and a little bit of health. We'll be right back. back Stay tuned. To you.